Okay, blessings. And this is our second event for the New Earth Pathways Retreat. And I'm super excited to introduce Lisa. You know, Lisa and I actually met at a podcasting event. And so for those of you that know Judy Anderson, it's Judy Anderson is um I think it was at the same event. I, I, we, I've been to a couple of them, but uh, so we have known each other ever since and we've taken some other workshops together and um, she just has such a, an amazing energy and, but I've never really got to experience her work. So I am super excited to sit in her presence and let her shine. So welcome Lisa. And do you wanna start by just telling us a little bit about yourself? Sure. Yeah. Thank you. Um, I'm so excited to be here today. And, um, and I'll just, one thing I want to share is, you know, I, I sent you the title and the description and nothing was coming through. And so this is the, um, the experience of trusting that what needs to come through will come through. And, and so when we were on this, the, you know, Kathy's Kathy's presentation this morning, it's like, well, yeah, exactly what came through was what needed to come through because I feel like this is kind of the baseline place where we start to expand. And so I'm, I'm, I'm excited about sharing that. So my, my um, background is uh, I was a dietitian nutritionist for my career, 30 plus years. So that was all into health and wellness. And, and that's, kind of where I come from. I've been studying met metaphysics since I was about 14. So long time. And um, my journey's been kind of slow and steady, I guess. And um, except this last summer, I had a major infusion of <laughs> energy. So, so um, yeah, so I'm just, I'm here. I, I have, I feel like I have wisdom to share you know, um, we're, we're all just excited that we're all moving into this new human experience together. Um, I don't know, you know, my whole life, I've been conscious of my goal to come home to my own divinity. And a lot of my lessons have been about loving myself and having the courage to speak my truth and, you know, ultimately feeling free to be in my own unique divine expression. And that may sound weird to some of you, but I know some of you are on the path where, you know, kind of where I am moving through all of this and um, really wanting to expand into unlimited possibilities. So for me, coming home to myself has allowed me to stay connected to my divinity and consciously aware that we are all one, which helps me co-create in a, like an expansion, a, a capacity that is more expanding, if that makes sense. So yeah, this journey has just helped me really walk in faith and trust in the unknown. And I, I mean, that keeps, that's my message lately is just trust in the unknown. It's not like it used to be where we thought about things and figured things out. It's like allowing it to come to us. So being in the void and being okay with being in the void and knowing that that's where we're supposed to be if that's where we are. So yeah, so that's my background. I love that. And so that's where I invite everybody to kind of sit in as your, uh, as, as Lisa continues is instead of comparing something that she says to something maybe you've heard before, or instead of comparing it to something that even that you're in the experience of now, what if you allow yourself to just be in the void and listen to her words as if it was for the first time and that you hear her words from the frequency of the divine that's flowing through her and let that part speak to your heart and just see how the experience shifts for you. And uh, it, because then we're in this high frequency of a reflection because we're holding the divine reflection for Lisa as she's speaks and especially knowing that she's going into just channeling whatever is supposed to come through let's really hold that divine for her in this reflection because we will all benefit from that place so that's what I want to invite everybody into and then I'm just going to meet myself Lisa and let you take over 
Yeah, thank you so much, Jules. So what I'm just what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk for a little while, and then I'm going to take us through um, a, an expansive visualization, and then I'm going to follow up with some light language just to anchor that into our our physical bodies um, in a way that we don't have to use our brains. So first part is the brain part. Um, <laughs> so you know, like I was saying, we're all in this big playground to become this new human, and it's a space where we've not been before on earth, you know, humans haven't been here. And so we're being asked to walk into the unknown and be okay with it and, and play with it and experiment with it. And, and we don't have to know how to do this. We're learning as we go. So our job is to really just to, you know, co-create this new earth as we step into the full unlimited possibilities that, that are there for us. And know that we're expanding into something that we've never been before and be okay with that and be excited and play with it because we're learning how to do this. And, and I think that's why it's really important to be able to come home to, to yourself, to your own divinity. And like Jules was saying yesterday, you know, when you attune to the frequency of the divine intelligence outside of thought and form, that's when the magic happens. But we we go in and out right we're we're in and out we're we're here is our you know the world that we know it and we're moving into something so exciting and different but life kind of you know has its moments right we all have moments of just life and so you know we we understand that we are all unique expressions of of god of oneness and we know that shifting into this miracle frequency is our future evolution. That's how we're stepping into our future evolution. And so, you know, in order to create that shift, we have to be able to move beyond the programming. And I love Jules that you said yesterday that, you know, you, you've moved beyond that. So we know it's possible. We know it's possible to just kind of totally release that. But as we, as we journey forward, um, it's just really also important to recognize that anything that is out of alignment with who we are truly here to be, which is the frequent, the divine frequency, that's who we're here to be. Anything outside of that is just not going to be in resonance. And I think as we move further and further into playing with this, we recognize more and more what it feels like to be out of resonance so that we can easily switch back into you know, those resonant frequencies that feel really good. And so the awareness is helping us navigate this journey to our highest potential. And so it's, you know, it comes from being aware and being conscious and then moving beyond that. So I think that, the, you know, the thing is, is that, you know, your own truth and we can play with attuning to that divine frequency like Jules showed us yesterday. And the more that we play in these multidimensional frequencies, these higher frequencies, the more we can move into that, that fre the frequency patterns that are unlimited, that give us that new human existence. And so we all have tools, right? We've all learned tools and we're learning more tools in this retreat that we can use. And this is gonna help us be able to really create that next level of, of unlimited possibility and potential. So I'm super excited to be here for the retreat um, as well as, as speaking, but it's playing with these frequencies that um, allow you to be able to create this reality that you want. So a reality that is like mind blowing beyond what we can even imagine is where we're going and coming home to the frequency of divine love allows us to create with the particles of possibility. And the more we hold these higher frequencies, the more light that we can hold in our bodies and the more light that we can shine out into the world. So each moment that you're in those higher frequencies, you're holding more light and love and you're shining it out to the world. And so your true divine essence means that um, you get to actively create from, from that energy of unlimited possibility. And so just I, 
that's how you create from, you know, not from form, but, but from unlimited possibility in the frequency into manifestation. And this is how you create without going into thought. So it, it's possible to create in, in light substance or energy substance or frequency or whatever you want to call it. And whatever's calling to you, whatever you feel like you want to learn or you want to move forward to, that is an inspired idea for you to realize, to actualize. So these, these things that we want to do, the reality that we want to create, we we have these seeds for a reason and they are for us to to live out to actualize and we get to play with the, we we get to play with how that looks for each of us um, with these new tools that we have and so these desires or these things that we want want to learn or want to be are guideposts that are leading us towards our highest path our highest timeline and this is, you know, when you're, when you're being in the frequency of your true essence, then that that's like, that's when you know, you're on your highest path It's when you are being that. So the more you can hold it, the more you are being in that frequency. And of course, we're all being asked to navigate through the practice of being that frequency more and more and more. So uh, I forgot to ask you guys if you have a pen or paper to write down. I just want to ask you, I think there's like a couple questions that I want to ask you as we go through this so that you can just kind of connect a little bit with, with what I'm saying. So the first question is, what do you think could support you in the practice of consciously being in your highest frequency more often? And um you just think about it for a minute. I mean, it could just be something that comes off that you don't even have to write it down if you don't want to, but off the top of your head, what is something that could support you in the practice of consciously being in your highest frequency more often? So you could hold that frequency more often. And the thing is, is, you know, this ascension process, the journey of becoming the new human can feel a little bumpy sometimes. <laughs> so I just want to talk about the bumpiness a little bit, and then um, we'll go back into the possibility, but you know, it might be pot. It might be possible that you need to make a decision or have an uncomfortable conversation that you might be avoiding or, or something like that, or try something new or, or make a change or make a leap of faith. And when we're, when we are in that place of being faced with this, that's when the lower vibrations of doubt and fear and all of that stuff can come up. And so it's, we flip flop between the, the reality that we really want, the unlimited possibility that's there for us to going back into this density. And so the, again, the more you can hold the frequency of coming home to yourself of your own divinity and being in that frequency, the more you, the more you'll be in the higher frequencies where life is magic. And so it's like, how, how do you pull yourself out of that, those lower vibrations as you're going through your day-to-day -day life? And it's just really um, becoming aware in each moment when things, you know, when, when this stuff comes up, because life happens, right? And we're, we are not yet new human. Jules might be new human, but we're, we're not all there yet. And we're getting there, right? We're getting there. But when you are feeling these, this, these bumps, it's ultimately because you're out of alignment with really with your true essence. And, and that's when it feels like you're not creating the life that you that you want and so i'll just share personally that i've had this experience recently you know in the last five, nine months and i was um i was caught in that spiral of of lower vibrations and then being lifted into these like expansive oh my gosh freedom opportunity you know all this like this beautiful stuff this beautiful light that i wanted to live in 
and then being dragged down into the lower vibrations back and forth. And so I knew that that's not, wasn't supporting me. And so I had to make some hard decisions and I had to, you know, um, really align with who I am here to be and eliminate all those stories that often keep us stuck, all those attachments that often keep us stuck. And, and it's, you know, it's, it's when a lesson keeps coming back to you over and over, my lesson was let go of attachments. It's okay. You're going to be held in safety. You're going to be supported. You're, oh, this is the message. And when you listen to those messages, it's like these, you know, you're, you land on a cloud. You're supported. You're always supported. So, you know, it's like, like Jules was saying, you can't make a wrong choice. You, you can make a choice that feels um, like you, like you go into more struggle, but you can also make a choice where there's, uh, where it feels more magical. And so, um, I'll be talking a little bit more about that, how you, how you can do that, how you can tune into that, but, um, you know, really understanding and being aware of your old programming and the stories and all those things that take you out of the higher frequencies of who you're here to be and your the divine frequency that you have access to is a practice that we're that we all need to learn and you know we're all at different levels of that but this you know experiencing these lessons and challenges have been part of our evolution and so far they may not be you know as we as we progress further and further but we're just beginning to play in this void where where this universal intelligence exists and we get to create in in this in these like unlimited spaces and we're being asked to slow down and stop rushing around so that we can be more and being in the void I mean I come from this like fast paced you know career and I've had to slow down over the years and it's, it's so, you know, I think all of us here in this group are, are at the place where we are slowed down and we are um, really allowing ourselves to be when we need to be and to tune in and to make the opportunities to live in those higher frequencies to connect with those higher frequencies but it's just it's so important to do that because again holding holding that high frequency over and over every time we get to play and practice that is how we're creating this magical peaceful reality that we want and and so just another question for you um think of Think of a time or an example in your life when maybe things felt a little bumpy and how did you notice that you, that you needed to shift into that higher frequency? How did you recognize that, that that was not the place you wanted to be in? Because when you recognize that and you start to notice it over and over and over again, you're able to lift out of it much easier. And I know you know this, but the key to, to this journey is really having compassion for where you are right now as you expand into the new human. And the process of arriving to the destination of ascension is the journey. I mean, it really is the journey, right? It's not the destination. And so we're here to experience, we're here to discover how to live life and play with more joy so we can create magic together. This is how we're stepping into the new earth. And so even though our evolution is really accelerating, you, you know, all this rapid energy shifts are so rapid right now, it's still a process for us. We still have to go through the process of, of becoming superhuman and expanding into more light and becoming the conscious observer and the witness that is um, witnessing the experiences that you're going through in your life. And I just, you know, it's when you, when you're in that divine frequency, you just won't question, you won't question because you'll simply trust in the universal intelligence that's there. And you will know that you 
that you are always supported, that you just are, that you, that you are part of this whole, I don't even know, this part of this whole plan to just be who you are. And when you, when you really get this, it's like you take these bold leaps towards what you really want for your reality. And, and you know that the seeds of what you want were there, are there for you to, to fulfill. And so it just makes it so much easier to go through life when you know that what you want is there for you and that you're able to even go beyond that, beyond creating what you think you want, right? And so it, you are always, we are always sourced and supplied. We, and, and when we recognize that your divinity is expressing and totally supported in all of the things that bring you joy, that's when you can move li through life a lot easier. Um, and so one technique is to pass everything through the filter of, of love because we know love is a high frequency. And as we're expanding and learning to be in the the void, the unknown, the, the beyond consciousness, we still have to, we still have to experience other people and, and be around other people that may not think like us. And, um, and so really passing this choice through love is something that, that helps because again, you can't, you can't choose wrong, but you can choose a, a path that feels more magical when you make the choice. It's just a choice that gets you to where you want to be faster. And so love and joy are, are this compass for navigating this 3D, 4D life and alignment to your own divinity is love. It's, it's that, you know, being as love is a high frequency. And if you can be at that frequency, then you can move into the higher frequencies much more easy where you are just, you know, connected to that, the new human experience. And so um, another question I have for you is, um, what do you think is stopping you or keeping you separated from embodying that your signature frequency, your signature frequency, your own divinity more often? So what are some of the things that, that might be getting in the way life the kind of things in life are getting in the way of you feeling separated from embodying that, that beautiful divine being that you, that you are at your true, your, your true essence. And we're here to, we're here to embody those, the higher frequencies. Um, and we have to be able to anchor them right now in our physical body, at least where we are in our journey. Um, as we go through this, you know, the ascension process, we can often get disconnected from our body. And so the more you anchor in the frequencies, these higher frequencies into your body, into your cells, into your DNA, the less than you experience, um, being like super blissed out in one moment. And then it's, you know, coming down hard into the density in another moment. So that's why it's really important to come home to your own divinity, to your own frequency and your true state of being is that high vibration of love and beyond. I, we, I don't know what the beyond is. I don't, you know, I can't put it into words, but we know it's there for us to move into. And so, you know, anything anything other than those higher frequencies, just conditioning and programming. We know this, and that's what we're learning how to, to release and to move beyond. And again, it's a process. So um, how you experience your own reality is, and how you embody these higher frequencies is your unique signature. It's, it's like your, your unique contribution to the world. And as you evolve, that signature frequency is going to evolve because you're going to become, you know, expanded. And so simply, you know, what I love to think about is simply by just being you, me, who we are, 
we're, when we're embodying that divinity, it means that we are a, a gift to not only ourselves, but to the collective just by simply being. It's just kind of mind blowing to me. I don't know if you guys think it is, but it is to me. That's, that's kind of mind blowing to me. And to really get that at a level where you are a true gift to the world just by being, you don't have to be doing anything and living in those higher frequencies. And you can anchor into those higher frequencies by connecting to the, to the divine frequency, the miracle frequency, and experiencing it, it in moment by moment by moment and practice holding these moments for longer and longer periods of time, like, like we're doing, like we're all doing right now. And the more we're doing this, the more we're playing with these frequencies, the more expanded we're going to be and the more expanded the world's going to become. And so it's super exciting to be in a community like this, where everybody's doing this beautiful work of really going beyond, 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 and becoming this new human. Like that's what we're doing right now. So we're creating the new earth. So what I'd like to do is, um, is just take you through a little visualization and, um, and see what you get. And then at the end, just keep your eyes closed and I'll be doing some light language to really anchor, anchor in those energies into your, into your being. So, so let's just go ahead and close our eyes and let's take a couple deep breaths. I like to put my hands on my heart. If you want to do that, you can. And just imagine a column of white diamond light coming coming down through your body and just connecting you to all that is. Just bring in the rainbow light. Let the energies mingle there, right there in your heart space. And just come home to your divine frequency, right in the center of your heart. And just feel that connection. And imagine feeling, feeling your whole field and beyond with love. Just feel that frequency of love as you continue to inhale and exhale. Just sense that right here, right now, and in every present moment, all there is is just simply bliss, just bliss. And just feel that. And know that you're cocooned in this frequency of this beautiful diamond light, divine frequency. Just imagine that you're on the most beautiful lush piece of land you can imagine. And look around for a moment. Just take in this magnificence, the scenery, the views. And just feel how you become uplifted as you sense the beauty and just feel serene, calm, peaceful. And ahead of you on the path, you see a crossroads, two paths. One of these paths feels very familiar. So you step on this path. This is the path you've been on until now. Ahead of you on the path, you notice a leather book with a golden feather sticking out of a page. And you open the page 
and a hologram appears. And it's showing you your life and how you've progressed to this point. And you recall all the experiences that you've been through that have helped you evolve to this point. And you see all the patterns and the habits, and the programming and judgments and all the distorted energies that, that you've been releasing over lifetimes is falling away. And the hologram dissipates and you look down at the book you're holding and you see written in bold letters you're ready to experience the path of your highest timeline. It's time to come home to your true expression of divinity. So you close the book and you walk over to the other path. And as you begin to walk down this path, you notice that it's a golden brick path. And you see that you're surrounded by more beauty and abundance than you've ever noticed before. And you feel so joyful. And you sense the light intelligence present within you and all around you. This is the path leading to your highest timeline. This is the path where everything you do is passed through the filter of your own divinity of love, the frequency of love. Love is your compass guiding you forward towards your most incredible, expansive, fulfilling life. And you make all your decisions by filtering the choices at hand through love. And you know that living through the filter of being in the frequency of your own divinity absolutely leads to more vitality and abundance and wisdom and prosperity and all of these things and the creation of your new human existence where you go beyond the beyond. And on this path, all of your wants and needs and desires are met because you trust in your own divinity. You know you're a, new, a unique expression of oneness and you're creating a new reality right now. You know that you have the ability to create from your connection to universal intelligence outside of the mind. And you know you're here to embrace your unique expression of divinity and beyond. And this is true for everyone. And because you're aware that each person Every sentient being has a, is a different facet of oneness, of all, all of one. And this perspective helps you dissolve any and all judgments, fears, doubts, all of that's gone right now. And you notice a bench ahead. And you sit down and you begin to contemplate what would it be like if I had the courage to share my true unique expression, the gift of my signature frequency with others and the confidence to walk forward into the unknown, creating your new human in the fu future frequency pattern.
And you bring to mind a time when you felt disconnected from your own divinity. And you just recall some of the details. And you take a breath. And you move into the frequency of love. And you begin to receive answers that you've wanted from this infinite river of universal intelligence. And you're gaining insights right now on how to live in the frequency of your true essence and beyond. And how to share your unique gifts from this place and be the gift. And you allow the information and the energy transmissions to come into your field of awareness. And you use your third eye to be, begin to sense messages coming to you as thoughts, feelings, colors, energy, shapes, words, images, whatever, whatever it is for you. And you just allow this beautiful river of consciousness carrying all the answers to the questions you seek to wash through you. And you know that everything you need is within. And if ahead of you on the path, you see a bright blue white light with golden mist filtering through the trees. And you walk to it and you stand in the middle and you feel the light intelligence enter each cell in your physical body, starting at your head, the light intelligence enters each cell in your entire mind and it moves down your throat your shoulders, your chest, arms and hands, moves down your torso and into your legs and feet. And you see yourself outside of your body. And you notice as you're looking at yourself, how each cell in your entire body and the entire field surrounding you is just filled with pure light substance, pure divine frequency. And as you observe this, you can see areas in your field light up brightly, like twinkling stars. And you sense it and you feel it. And you begin to interpret what you're experiencing. What is this light intelligence communicating to you? You feel it raising your frequency to purity, to your divine essence, the truth of who you are. And before you step back into your body, you realize you have witnessed a profound shift. And you tune into that further and you sense it and you feel it and you be it. And you come back into your body and you walk down the path out of the trees and back to where you started. You have come home to yourself. You remember your creative potential, and you are embodying your signature frequency right now. And this is what helps you attune to your highest timeline. So keep your eyes closed and just continue to relax and breathe. And I'm gonna be doing some light language so that you can embody this attunement 
through the frequency of my voice and the light codes that come in. Ishakatiata Es tu uro ta kitara manahi ma tira es ta ira mi katara ha e na harita ste etara kuturo to atira ta e atu uro as te utaya na pitara ha kitara ayara tu manahi tara tu she ta hera tu roto ma katira hera Tira tashte katarapu uroto yana he tarapuro ta ishte kataraputo haratiara mashte aya katira ho maharatiara ta eta ya katushto da na ya haratu urota ya kitara ta mahitara Shitara ta kitara huitara na ara tirashtu uro. Neka hati ata. Era ti harati ishtara keturo to oa ata yenara hatira. Era tu hura ti akata shteara. Huitara na yeketara hu. He putara yetara turo toro tatata yetekatu hura ta. Me artista, o cataira, masha tira, aí que trae, trae, tatae, que tu rustaia, huroto, roto, e catara, a, e a atra uf, a quista, e tra uf. Maha tiraia, este catara, a tu, renaia. Nishtai atiara ta ikata atira hi tara ana ayakata hu 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 ea ma ikata tara esta esta na na hati hu ti ara a masta ira ta ikata hati. Just let that. Sink into you. Take a couple deep breaths. And you can open your eyes and come back to the room when you feel like you're ready. Thank you, Lisa. That was so amazing. Your light language is very tribal. And I could tell that there was like different uh, frequency patterns coming in with the way that your voice shifted. That was really fun. Thank you so much for that. So we'll open it up. Unless you have something else to say, we'll open it up to questions. Did you have anything to conclude with that, Lisa? No, I just wish I could make it work so that my drum worked because it, it's a different language when I drum and it's it's super cool. So well, what came through was right on. So <laughs> I'll do mine. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. So I'd love to hear any feedback or answer any questions. You just unmute yourself. Go ahead, Luann. Um, that light language was beautiful. I was just sitting in warm fuzzies the whole time it was coming through. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I could really feel it. Hi, Joshua. Uh, thank you, Lisa. That was beautiful. Um, I was getting a lot of sensations on the left side of my body, uh, ringing in my left ear. And 
I had some sensations on my collarbone, which I'm never thinking or conscious of really, but that area. So that was interesting too. And when you're doing the light language, I felt inclined to just touch that area on my body. So that was that was really unique. And uh, thank you. Thank you so much, Lisa, for this. Hi, welcome. Thank you for sharing. I am just, I'm feeling so buzzed and <laughs> it's like so much energy comes through when I do that. It's, it's wild. What I felt is it just brought me into this place of just total oneness. It's like I just wanted to hold my hands here because it just resonated so much, Lisa. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah. Well, Shirley. Um, when you were doing the light language, I could actually feel sparkles in my body <laughs> it was so cool like, oh god <laughs> but especially, like down my back um and really for me it's like I, I know when I'm not present not in my body because I really don't feel supported and when I feel supported my back is warm and and well cuddled sort of like you know I'm being hugged and rocked. Yeah. So, so I know that when I have that kind of activity on my back, it's, it's very special, but I've never had sparkles. <laughs> and I think the, the connection is, because you had a kind of asked, what is it that you need to support you? Or what is it that maybe is missing? Well, last couple of weeks it's become very apparent to me that a lot of times I'm just sort of waiting or on hold like waiting for something to happen or you know and it's like where's my spark <laughs> like, what, where am I in all of this and and it's like oh I have to be the one to bring that forward mm -hmm. and not just be waiting for something to respond to or react to it's like no, I am the spark. And I've really become acutely aware of that because it's even in my dreams. It's like, well, that's why it's so boring is because, well, you're just there like <laughs> observing and there's no fun in that. And it's like, well, you know, you have a spark, you've been a spark, you can, <laughs> where is it? Oh, well, maybe I ought to turn it on. <laughs> So for me, in the last couple of weeks has been, well, what do I need to do to keep it on all the time and not be so like invigorated that I can't sleep? <laughs> yeah. Yes, I get that. Totally. Yeah. And it's fun to have, you know, whatever tools that you use. So I love light language because it just, it, it, it like Kathy said, it just puts me back into that oneness frequency. And uh, it's, yeah, it's really powerful. So whatever, you know, we have Luann doing uh, sound healing. And so, yeah, I'm super excited for that. It's gonna be great. So any, anybody else? Karen? Yeah, I'll just quickly share as well. Um, I really, when you took us down the, the, the new path or the, the path instead of the one that's familiar. Um, <laughs> I kind of just let myself just go wherever. And um, <laughs> there was like a unicorn <laughs> that I like got on top of. <laughs> I went to space and there was like, I was like in this like rainbow tunnel in space with like this huge, like, oh, it was like a, like a rainbow cloak. And I was like, like this wave, <laughs> I was like a wave. Um, and then I was just shown myself just dressed in rainbow. And to me, it was really just like, like a full expression of, yeah, a full expression. So. Beautiful, oh, beautiful. And so visual, so you can come back to that you know, to, to get, get into that frequency, you could just come back to that vision. It's 
beautiful. I love that. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. For me, um, what came through over and over again as you were teaching was um, the words angelic messenger. And so just really want to honor that in you, that uh, frequency. Thank you very much. It's been really valuable, beautiful. And during it, you also used the word anchoring our higher frequencies in the body and did so much of the work. And I really loved it. Thank you. Heaps. Yeah, thank really you. beautiful. Well, thank you, Lisa, so much. And again, Luann is going to be next with her singing bowls. And I know she's been working really hard to get it to where the sound transmits through Zoom as much as possible. Because like Lisa said, it is really hard to have sound move through uh, a, a situation like this. But the last time she did it, even with some of the sound issues, it was what I mean, and I, it was, one of the coolest experiences I've ever had I'm not gonna lie like it, I emailed her afterwards just saying that I don't know what happened but uh, ever since then I've just been having amazing downloads so definitely show up for Luann she has a gift and uh, well we all like everyone here come on just like what um, Shirley was saying it's like we all have that spark and that's I don't know, that's just the message I was getting with this retreat is it's time to be big, you guys. And whatever that is for you, it's it's getting out of our own way and really stepping into that place of this is my theme for the day and I'm going to cuss right now. And I never cuss, but there's not a word that replaces it because it just doesn't have the same effect, but it's just time to not give a shit. It's just like time not to give a shit what everybody else thinks and just show up and be you in the biggest way possible. And so I am just so happy to see the ones that have come forward to be the change makers this weekend and really stepping into that place of being you. So I want to celebrate you in that space. And then I also want to celebrate everyone that's receiving and holding them in such light because it's going to be you one of these days and we will show up for the same in the same way for you. So thank you, Lisa, for just bringing your beautiful light and shining it for all of us. Thank you. And we will see. And that just gave me chills. So yes, I love you guys so much and we'll see you in a couple hours. Mm-hmm. <sighs>